G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you love pizza, but you're trying to cut out some of the carbs, give this recipe a go because I know you will absolutely love it. And it's also pretty easy to make too. So join me today as I make my version of a cauliflower based pizza. Now we're going to start this off by using a food processor. Now you can use a blender if you like, but it just takes a lot longer to do and it's just so much more effort. So what I've done is I've just cut up a cauliflower and I've removed as many of the stems as I possibly can. So we're going to process this for about, for about two minutes, just until it comes up to a nice powdery consistency. Okay, so once it's finished processing, I'm going to place it into a microwave safe bowl, just like so. And it's kind of got like a snow consistency. So I'm just going to cover this up with a microwave safe cover, of course, and we're going to microwave it on high for four minutes. Now you want to be very careful with this step. I've let it cool down just for a couple minutes, just so it's not as hot. But what the microwave has done, it's opened up all the pores and it's going to help bring out all the moisture from the cauliflower. So I'm going to place it onto the clean tea towel. And basically all you have to do is just wring it out as much as you can. The more moisture you can get out of it, the better. The reason being, if you leave too much moisture in there, you're going to have a very crummy base. The type that just falls apart in your hand. You want it to be more firmer to be able to, you know, pick it up and eat it like a normal pizza. And just look at the amount of liquid I was able to get out of that one cauliflower. Now I've just placed our dried cauliflower into another dry bowl. So to that I'm going to add in a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese, followed by a quarter cup of parmesan, fresh of course, one beaten up egg, a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And simply just get in there with your hands and give it a very good mix until it's all well combined. Okay, so I've got a pizza tray here and I've lined it with nonstick baking paper and I've also greased the top of the nonstick baking paper as well. So we're going to grab our cauliflower crust and just simply shape it into a nice round pizza base. Now I want you to get that oven as high as you can possibly get it, which is over 200 degrees Celsius or 400, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake this for about eight minutes and you know what's ready when it just starts to turn golden brown. Okay, so it's out of the oven and as you can see, it has just started to turn golden brown. So now all we have to do is add some favorite toppings. Now I'm gonna make this a basic cheese pizza. So I'm just going to add some of my favorite barbecue pizza sauce. And I'll leave a link down below to my video on how to make your own barbecue sauce. I can tell you what, this is already smelling fantastic too. There's nothing like all those extra pizza herbs. Oh, yummy. And just top it off with some mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to place this back in the oven for about seven minutes or so, and just until the cheese is just melted. And there we have our cauliflower based pizza. Now keep in mind, cauliflower has basically no taste whatsoever. So just by adding all the extra herbs and the cheese, it's turned something non-flavorable into something absolutely delicious. And I recommend that you let it cool just for a couple minutes, which will help firm the base. Now see that? See it just stays together like a normal pizza slice. Oh yum. Oh wow, that tastes absolutely delicious. And just look at how well that base stays together. So you can also add different herbs. You add some chili herbs if you like. It's really up to you. But as long as you follow those simple directions, when you bite into one of these, it's going to taste simply delish. And it really is so simple to make. I would say it's probably even easier than making your own pizza dough. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.